Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here and welcome back to a brand new video. We're at the end of the year. 2022 is a great year. Can't thank you guys enough for your support. We had a great year in the Skip Barber Formula Race Series. If you haven't been watching those vlogs, we just wrapped it up at Coda not too long ago. Got third place overall in the point standing. So super great, super fun. Enjoyed the formula car and it's crazy to think that it all started way back when in 2016 at the Gateway Carplex in the iDrive series and it kind of ties into what we're going to talk about today. Not only did I do a lot of the Skip Barber Formula Race Series stuff, but I had an opportunity to go back to Carplex for a couple different reasons. Uh, first off, primarily was the partnership that I had with my good friend Matt Zagaitis, Global Force Kart Sport, and we helped him out a lot this year with his run in the Ignite Heavy Series. So we did a lot of driver coaching with Matt, we did a lot of mechanical support for him, and we got him a second place finish in the overall championship. So congratulations to the cameraman, Matt Zagaitis, on the great year. Yes, queen, that was awesome. Um, Why would you do that? <laughs> In addition to helping Matt out, we were able to actually help some of our other friends, Austin, Russell, and Stephen Cott. And those were vlogs that we made. We actually took their carts with whatever issues they had prior. We took them, factory reset them, rebuilt them, found a lot of issues. I drove them to victories, which was super cool to do, and I really enjoyed it. And especially Austin Russell's rebuild was pretty intensive, and we took it to the most competitive race of the season at the Gateway Carplex. Ignite Challenge in the most competitive class, Ignite Senior, and still managed to pull out the victory until I insert a clip of me putting it in the wall. So with all of that experience from this year, it inspired me to start a brand new business. We're calling it Bobby Krug Racing Services. So we're going to do mechanical support, which means you know if you want something done to your go-kart, bring it to me, I'll do it for you. We'll do race day support as well. So whether it's a club race, a challenge race, a road race in the Ignite series, whatever it may be, we'll offer mechanical services for you during the day so you can worry more about racing and less about wrenching. But if you wanna worry more about racing and your race craft, I'm gonna also offer coaching services to help you behind the wheel. All of the information can be found on the website down below, bobbycrew.com, and then in addition to that, fill out the form, and I'll keep you notified, because we're still kind of working it out. I know I want to do it, just figuring out the logistics and getting everybody on the wait list so that way I can make sure we try to get through everyone properly. In addition to all of that, we're offering another service, which involves this mysterious thing behind me. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Bobby Krug has bought a go-kart. I've been racing Ignite Karts ever since 2018 when I won the iDrive Championship. I got the scholarship from Margay, and I actually got a scholarship for the following two years after the fact. I've never owned a kart, and the plan is, is we're gonna take this kart, we're gonna rebuild it. I'm gonna show you guys the rebuild process of what the little things that we have to do across bumper to bumper, and we're gonna document it along the way. And to uh, tell us a little bit more about this card, it might look familiar to some of you guys. I'm going to bring in our guest. Where am I? Where are you people taking me? Who's there? Brendan Lauer. What's, up? What's going on? We bought this cart from Brendan Lauer. I held him hostage to bring him here. And I stole his cart. I didn't actually buy, pay for it. Um, anyway. <laughs> So this is Brendan's cart. Uh, Brendan, tell the people a little bit about this cart that I bought and why it was a really bad decision. Why it was a really bad decision? <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll see about that. It was actually bought in 2018 for use in the 2018 Ignite Dash at Daytona. It did two times at Daytona. One time Bobby drove it at Miami uh, using the chassis. It's done about 30 Ignite races overall. And it's done uh, about six events in the Supercom series, which is actually where I got my only win in these carts with this cart in 2021 at the Carplex. This cart usually ran uh, on the hard tires, but it was a lot more successful whenever we put the softs on it. We don't know anything about any you know, cracks in the frame. We don't know anything about uh, how well it's held up. I think you're going to find a lot of interesting little quirks in this machine as we go through this video series and actually tear it apart and get a good look. I know for sure if you get one look here, we've got like a busted seat. It's busted in the bottom uh, from all the lead weights because I'm a tiny little boy. And so the plan is we're going to start a brand new video series to the channel where we take this cart, 
we go through it, we get it ready for the 2023 season. And the plan would then be, once we have it all ready to go, we're gonna do an arrive and drive service. So one of you guys could be the driver of this cart next year. For more information about the coaching services, the mechanical services, and this new arrive and drive opportunity, check the link down in the description below. And also, if you have anything specific that you wanna see on the rebuild of this Margay Ignite K3 or the Briggs L0206 motor, leave a comment down below and we're gonna try showcasing what you guys wanna see in the upcoming videos. So, looking forward to seeing you guys out there for episode one, where we're gonna start tearing this thing apart. We'll see you then. I think this is like the same. Trailer of Sailor Man, trailer of Sailor Ain't got no cigarettes, but trailer of